Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a little bit of color theory to make your videos pop. So today, like in a lot of my videos, I'll be using HitFilm Express, it's a free video editor. But of course, this kind of thing can apply to whatever you're doing, be it uh, working in Premiere or something like that, or even working in Photoshop, working on photos or Lightroom. These kind of techniques can apply to anything. But today, as I said, we will be using the free version of HitFilm. And as I do with basically all of my HitFilm tutorials, today's video will have a difficulty rating. Today's one will be three out of five. It will be an intermediate tutorial, so you are expected to know the basics of HitFilm, though I will go every step of the process uh, with you. But yeah, with all that being said, let's get on into it. So as you can see, I've got two clips, one of this bench, one of this bridge that I shot a long time ago. Um, they're not the best clips, but they'll do well for our purposes today. So let's start off by actually diving into a little bit of color theory. And to do that, we're just going to go to a simple color wheel. To go through this color wheel, uh, the, best, the best way I can think of, of uh, describing these to you, I have mentioned this in the past in previous videos before, but if you just go to Adobe Color, just Google that up and click on the first link, then it'll give you an interactive color wheel, which uh, we'll, we can do a lot of stuff with this color wheel. So Adobe Color is actually designed to uh, help create color schemes and all of that kind of stuff. Um, the idea is you choose a base color and you choose a color harmony, some mode, some color scheme, and it'll give you a bunch of other colors that go well with it. There are two main color schemes that I want to focus on today. There's the monochromatic or analogous kind of color scheme, and there's also the complementary color scheme. You might have already heard of these or already know them, but I'm just going to go through them quickly just to show you what I mean. I'm just going to click on this color here. And that's kind of our base color, right? It's this red. And you'll notice that in this analogous color harmony mode, we're getting all these colors which are kind of similar to red. So we're getting these oranges, these pinks. They're just kind of close and they bring together this balance, these balanced colors basically. And if we drag our base color around, say for example, we want to create a color scheme that is more blue, then we can just drag to a blue. And you'll notice we get some more cyan green kind of blues and we also get some more deep, darker blues. The idea of this is that it's kind of just one color and it looks similar, but with a little bit of variation, um, but it's all looking pretty similar. And if you just go to monochromatic here, you'll notice it even looks more cinema, similar. So you get different saturation values and different lightness values, but in terms of the actual hue, you can see everything is on this one blue. And that's the monochromatic mode. And you can use this as well uh, to create this really nice color scheme. But of course, there's a whole ton of other ones. There's triad where you can create these 120 degree kind of angles here, and uh, you can create these color schemes like that. But complementary is also the most other famous one, and it's basically the opposite color. So you use the color you're using and the opposite color, and this provides really, really great color contrast. And uh, it's, a, it's a pretty easy way to get going. One of the most famous is, of course, teal and orange or orange and teal. Basically, if I just go and select this orange color, you'll notice that I get this, this teal, this kind of greenish blue going on here. And that's kind of this complementary color scheme that works very well. This is something to keep in mind when you're shooting your videos or taking your photos as well. You wanna make sure that as often as possible, you want to not have as many colors in. So if you're shooting a scene that has pinks and blues and greens and everything mixed in there, it can look really chaotic, but the best thing to do is just to keep it to one or two colors. And that'll give your image a much cleaner feel. Of course, these aren't hard and fast rules, but it's just something I suggest, and it's what we're going to be working with in today's video. To create this minimalistic kind of color palette, we're just going to be using this effect in HitFilm, which will enable us to change the colors. So let's go ahead and look at our clip in HitFilm again. We're just going to start off with this clip of the bench here. And to do this, actually, I'm just going to go into the compositing workspace because that way we'll have a much longer control panel here and we'll get a slightly bigger view as well and we don't need this tremor. So just go up to the workspace in HitFilm and then just go to compositing and we'll get a much bigger viewer and we'll get a longer control panel, perfect. So let's look at our clip here. I have, this is completely raw, no color grading or anything. I did stabilize it in Premiere, but apart from that, there's not much else to it. We can see our primary color here is this really nice golden orange of these leaves. And we've got this brown, this orange on the bench as well. Then we've got some greens over here in the trees and this lawn here. And we've got some cyan blues in the sky, which is a lot cut off with the, with the white blowing out of the sky as well, but that's okay. And we've got a little bit of a mess of colors here, but uh, all of that should be fine. 
we've got three main colors here i'd say we've got this main orange and we've also got this green and this blue and it's much easier to make this green less green than it is to make the sky less blue and i'll show you why in a little bit and you'll see as we go along but we're going to use an effect today that I've talked about in the past. It's called the Hue, Saturation, and Lightness effect, or the HSL effect. So just search up for it and drag it onto your clip. Now, this will let us adjust each of the colors individually. And if we just open up everything here, you'll notice why I wanted to have a long color panel. Uh, here we can adjust the Hue Shift, Saturation, and Lightness of each one of our colors, as well as Master, which is all the colors. Hue shift is basically shifting all the colors along the spectrum. So if we go master and hue shift, you can see that all of the colors just kind of shift along. And saturation is just the vibrance really. And you can make it no colors or lots of colors. And lightness is just uh, brightness basically, but you don't want to use this. It gets really messy. So don't really touch this uh, unless you're, you really know what you're doing. Okay, so let's really begin this process. I want to, as I say, keep the blues and the reds and make the reds here, these oranges, more of an orange. So let's start off with these yellows. I've, I'm loving these yellows, of course, we wanna keep them. So let's just start by boosting the saturation up a little bit. But you'll notice something happening, which is a little bit odd. And that's because these greens here, especially of these trees are very yellow actually. And this is a tip, greenery is often yellow. It's often got shades of yellow. And you can see by just adjusting the lightness, you can see that a lot of these trees and a lot of this stuff falls under yellow. So let's just remove that. And we, what we can do to fix this is we can kind of hue shift it. And if we hue shift it left, it'll go more towards the red end of the spectrum. You'll notice everything here got, gets a lot hotter in color, not just warmer, it was already warm. It gets hotter in color. And these trees kind of start to look more like autumn leaves or they start to look more uh, yellow basically. You don't want to go too overboard with this, but I just want to adjust it so that we get some, rid of some of those greens. And I'm just going to reset the saturation here. But of course, this does look a little bit too unnaturally red. So what I'm going to do is go into the reds here. And as you can see, the reds also play a large part in these leaves here because the orange is kind of a mix between the red and the yellow. So let's just go ahead and make the reds more yellow just to combat that a little bit. And now we can adjust the saturation and it'll adjust the saturation of our leaves without adjusting the saturation of those trees. So let's check and uncheck. And you can see we've done really basic adjustments, but they've worked pretty well so far. We've uh, gotten rid of some of the, the, orange, the green here. We've made it more orange and we've boosted the saturation of these leaves down here and made them a little bit more golden warm. Now we can just go down to our green and we can just reduce the saturation like so. And we're moving on to our cyan and our blue now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna quickly switch out to my Adobe color. Let's go back into complementary and see that we do have this cyan color as well. Um, so we don't wanna keep it blue, we wanna have it more cyan as well because that's the complementary color to this orange. So we can keep this cyan or we can boost the saturation of it slightly. And in the blues, there's not really too many blues, it is everywhere, but there's not too much of it. But what we can do is just kind of shift it to make it more cyan like so. And we can reduce the saturation of that as well. Okay, and magenta, let's just adjust the lightness of magenta. You'll see there's not too much magenta, it's mainly in the roofs and everything. Uh, but uh, this roof here, for example, so what we can do is we could hue shift it, but with the compression in our video, it looks a little bit odd. So I'm just going to lower the saturation a little bit like so. Okay, wow, so that's our hue, saturation and lightness effect all done. And if we check and uncheck, we'll notice that nothing really has changed. It looks normal as well, but we've boosted these cyan colors here. So it looks much nicer and much more vibrant. And we've also boosted uh, this golden warmth here. And I might even do that a little bit more as well. Just really boost that yellow. And our second clip here, we could adjust this manually and uh, I encourage you to go ahead and try on all these clips you have. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and actually just uh, copy this with Control C and then click on my clip here and paste this with Control V because it's in a similar scene and it's got similar colors. And you'll notice that immediately a lot of the green of these leaves here has just disappeared. It's turned warm, but it doesn't look too unnatural because we're filming in a sunset here 
and uh, we have these really nice cyan colors in our sky as well, which is perfect. And again, like I said, this isn't the end of everything. Uh, a little bit of a plug here, but uh, if we just, for example, apply a lot, uh, just a, another grade on top, I'm just going to choose one of mine from my free lot, lot pack, which I will leave link in the description for, but you can go ahead and download these free lots, which are basically these free color presets. And if I choose, for example, this deep teal and orange, you'll notice that we've kind of just accentuated this effect with these teal and this orange colors. Of course, this is an add-on plugin, so you will have to buy an add-on pack or buy the pro version of HitFilm to access this lot effect. But you can see how you can use this kind of method of reducing colors, and then you can add more colors later on, and you can still get a pretty nice look. But anyway, there you have it. Just some tips for when you're color grading. Make sure that you don't go overboard with all these colors and these rainbows inside your video. Make sure to keep it minimalistic and to keep it simple. That'll really draw the attention of the viewer into this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then be sure to click the like button because it'll help other people find it. Of course, you can share it with them directly as well. Subscribe for more tutorials and videos like this. I make hit film videos, as I said, but also a ton of other video editing and just tutorials in general. You can follow me on Twitter, of course, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay shiny. Yeah. Uh -huh.